Hello and welcome to USA Radar's weather browser. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the changes here between uh, the last version and this version. Um, as you can see we're looking at the United States of America and if you click on that map with your left mouse button you will get another pop-up showing you standard colorized enhanced vapors watches and source you can click on any one of these to change the map as you can see I've colorized it showing you the different uh, rain precipitation and snow if you look on the right hand side you'll see it's located at Allentown Pennsylvania this can be changed by pressing on the green plus sign here you can change the state and also the city to whatever location in the United States that you'd like to change it to. Once your location is set, you can look below, you'll see the alert center. Here you can um, turn it on and off by clicking on uh, the on off button. And below you can see our warnings are set to Allentown, Pennsylvania. Now you can change this to all warnings in Pennsylvania. And you can see that inside of the state are uh, dangerous wind chill overnight. Now this is a state warning, so you won't see all of your warnings if you only have Allentown selected or uh, blizzard. If you're looking for blizzard conditions in Pennsylvania, well, uh, you would select blizzard. And if there's a blizzard coming, you would get the warning up top. Once you've read your warning, you can look at the very bottom where it says alert on the bottom right hand side and you can clear it or you can click at the very top where it says warning alert you can click that and that will uh, get rid of the warning as well along with the warning you can also set an audio alert and a mail alert the mail alert also uh, also allows you to send uh, the alert to a cell phone now once your alerts and your uh, city location have been set up, if you put your mouse over the current forecast, you will see below it the five day forecast will show up. Now if you click one time, that forecast will stay up. As you can see, if you put your mouse over the one day or today's forecast, it will uh, make it disappear and if you click again, it will stay disappeared. Now looking at the top menu at the top left, you will see refresh rate is 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 3 hours, or 6 hours. This is the refresh rate for your main radar. You can also refresh the main radar in the bottom right hand corner using the refresh. And there's also a zoom or a zoom, zoom 2 or zoom 5, which allows you to zoom 2 times or 5 times. Now this works for all the different radars, so if you wanted to select a, a different location, possibly the northeast, you can zoom into that as well. The next menu after your region menu are states, and their states are separated from A to M and M through Z. All you have to do is click and select whatever state you want. Florida has a Florida and a Florida S. This is Florida and uh, the south part of Florida, which is part of the Gulf and uh, Caribbean. Texas also has an east and a south, and then the south shows you the Gulf. Go satellites are very nice for showing you... Uh, a longer span of time. National Weather Service has a great radar that allows you to actually zoom into it a lot closer by county. Tropics, of course, in the summer and fall. Global, if you want to check the global radars. Special gives you um, NOAA radio and also the watches. This shows you the watches for the entire United States 
And then you can also check other things like air quality and even stuff like flu. Humidity. Earthquakes. And lots of other stuff. I hope you enjoy using USA Radars, and uh, I appreciate you downloading it and giving it a try. Thanks so much.